Chinese media has reported that it is true. Sodium ion batteries are coming out this year, but they're not what you think they are. They're what I've been saying, which might be what you think they are. I'm not sure. However, these are the models of electric car that will have some form, and I'll explain what form, of a sodium ion battery by the end of this year. These are just a few, but they're coming very soon. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate what you do. Also, YouTube members. If you want to be a YouTube member, you can get access to some of our videos in advance. I'll put a link in the description. And also, if you want to contribute to my wife's cancer GoFundMe campaign, that would be amazing. Yeah, it's um, working really well, but she's still in a lot of pain. So we're sort of halfway there, I guess you could say. I'll put a link in the description. Sodium ion batteries are the future. Now, BYD and CHL only started really taking sodium ion batteries seriously or trying to make sodium work with lithium because of the high price of lithium. Basically, they were like, well, lithium prices are going to keep going up. How do we solve this problem? Well, don't use lithium. They actually worked out that lithium even works better when combined with something else that's cheaper, much cheaper. The irony of all of that is that CATL has made billions of dollars in profit this year already because, well, they haven't been paying that much for lithium. The price of lithium has come down nearly 70% this year. And CATL are only passing on some of the discounts to car manufacturers. They're making massive profits. However, both of them will still go ahead with mass manufacturing sodium and lithium batteries in combination with each other, in hybrid combination. That's what the media are saying. That's what I've been reporting on and saying for a while now that I believed that it's likely these battery packs would be a combination of sodium and lithium, not just sodium by itself, because actually the batteries using sodium and lithium work better in many cases than what lithium by themselves are or what sodium by themselves are. Combine the two together and you have the best of both worlds. The sodium ion battery, reportedly BYD's progress in mass production of sodium ion batteries is similar to CATL's from Chinese media reports. CNN Post says that CATL and BYD's sodium ion batteries will both be carried in mass produced vehicles by the end of this year. And there will be a mix of sodium and lithium. CATL sodium battery will be installed in the first model of Cherry's new energy vehicle, electric vehicle, and that brand is called iCar. It's expected to be launched in the fourth quarter of this year, according to the report. Obviously, Cherry wants to make a brand that will appear to be like Apple in a way. So you've got Cherry and Apple, sort of. Anyhow, the sodium ion battery will be used in Cherry's small electric cars, such as the QQ Ice Cream and the Little Ant. These are small, affordable cars. Clearly, this is going to be a small, affordable battery pack, so it makes a lot of sense to combine the two together. It's a good chance that by the end of this decade, there won't be any batteries that are in small cars that don't have sodium, because CATL predicts the prices for sodium ion batteries have come down a further 30%, making them very, very affordable. With the big rise in lithium prices last year, BYD and CATL have decided, well, now is the time. The first car that will use BYD's sodium lithium hybrid battery will be the Seagull. I've reported that in the past. Now, we weren't sure if that was true. It was, it was you know, media reports saying that's the case. Media is still saying the same thing now. I'm guessing it probably is true. However, BYD haven't announced any details on this yet. But according to this report, BYD's battery in the Seagull won't be just a sodium battery. It'll be a combination of sodium and lithium. Now, the reality is sodium ion batteries cost less, but they have lower energy density than lithium batteries. However, they do have an advantage in that they handle the cold temperatures better than lithium batteries. Combine the two together. Now, the energy density in a purely sodium battery is similar to the energy density, says CNF Post, of a lithium ion phosphate battery in around 2015. The CATL, on the other hand, They've unveiled their first generation sodium ion battery on the 29th of July, 2021. And at the time, they said that the energy density of the single cell had reached 160 watts per kilo, which is, well, was on par with lithium ion phosphate batteries at that time. I made a video about that event, in fact, within a couple of days of that happening. I'll put a link in the description. 
That was when I claimed that sodium ion batteries would revolutionize the EV and change the world. I still do believe that that's true because this will enable manufacturers to make much cheaper EVs than what they already do today, reaching more and more people. Now, CATL said at the time that the energy density of these batteries was slightly lower than their lithium ion phosphate batteries, but not by much. However, CATL are now saying that their next generation sodium lithium batteries have 200 watts per kilo of energy density, which means that they are much higher energy density than what we thought they would be. Analysts clearly got this wrong. I mean, analysts all over YouTube, all over the world, say they're experts and claimed, right, that sodium batteries would never be used in EVs. But these are kind of the kind of analysts who don't really seem to do much research. If you've got the two biggest battery companies in the world saying, yes, we're going to use sodium in our batteries, maybe you should consider that when they say those batteries will go into EVs, that that's what will actually happen. Now, it won't be very long before many of the world's batteries, the affordable ones, will have sodium in the battery pack. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? You know, I don't really know in terms of mass market EVs being sold in North America, Europe or Australia. But I do know it will bring the prices of batteries down. It will mean there's less pressure on the price of lithium, meaning EVs in general will continue to become cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Internal combustion engine vehicles will die more quickly, and that is a win for everyone. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching.